Hey, what's up guys? Today, we're going to talk about Enterprise WorkBot for Microsoft Teams. So, what are Enterprise WorkBots? Whenever you create a new app registration in Microsoft, you can connect it to the Workado Bot platform, allowing it to perform like a WorkBot under the hood. So, why should you care about Enterprise Bots? Enterprise WorkBots are a pretty huge deal because you can now have multiple WorkBots in the same MS Teams group. For example, you could have approvals bot, which could manage expense or PTO requests and approvals. But you could also have IT ops bot, a bot that handles equipment requests. A very useful bot to have now that most people are working from home during the COVID era. Or you could also have your dev, staging and production bots coexisting peacefully in a single MS Teams group, greatly simplifying the bot development lifecycle. And for each enterprise bot, you can also fully customize the branding of the bot. That is, the bot name, the bot logo, and its accent color. This allows you to completely design the look and feel of the bot based on its primary purpose. And because you own the bot, you can also control its permissions in Wakado as well as in the Azure portal. So how do you create an enterprise book bot? Creating an enterprise workbot for Teams requires you to jump through lots of hoops in the Microsoft ecosystem. But don't worry, this guide will hopefully get you to the finishing line. In fact, I'll go through the creation process from start to finish, so you have something to refer to when you try this out on your own. In fact, I highly recommend having our enterprise bot guide open as you perform this process, as it will make things significantly easier. Also, in the Azure portal, make sure you have been assigned at least one of the following roles. So let's get started. First, we head over to Tools, Custom OAuth Profiles, and create a new Custom OAuth Profile. So what we're doing here is creating a new profile for our new bot. In step one, select WorkBot for Microsoft Teams. And in step two, uh, we create a new app, uh, and this link goes into Microsoft. So what I've done is I've opened Microsoft Teams, the client version. And over here, what we want to do is to add an application by Microsoft called App Studio. So this is how we'll be building our bot from the Microsoft side. Over here, click on Manifest Editor and click on Create New App. On this page, we will fill up everything that we need to, uh, and some are actually optional. So over here, I'm going to give this app a name, for example, Approval Spot. Over here, I'll click on Generate to generate an app ID. And for package name, I'll key in a package name in reverse domain format. Doesn't really matter what you type in over here. For version, I'll choose 1.0.0 since it's the first version of the bot. And here I'll key in a short description and a full description. So off screen, I've actually filled up the short description and full description uh, together with the developer information. Um, feel free to use your own company name and your own website. For partner information, uh, it's optional, so we skip it. And for app URLs, again, you can use our privacy statement on terms of use um, or use your own. Now for branding, we highly, we strongly recommend for you to use uh, your own icons. Once again, um, you should want to uh, model your model the look and feel of your bot based on uh, its primary function. So in this case, this is approvals bot. So I've already looked for a um, an icon that pretty much looks like uh, it's for approvals. Same thing with the transparent outline. And pay special attention to the um, pixel sizes because Microsoft doesn't really play, doesn't mess around with these things. I'll go ahead and choose uh, an accent color. Okay. And once this is done, we head into bots 
and click on setup and over here um, same thing Google's bot or the name of your bot and over here we want to click on personal team and group chat scopes and with that we click on create bot and that should create our bot this might take a while so I'll give it some time once your bot's been created you should see a page like this you want to copy this string because it's your bot ID once you have it copied go back into Workado and expand step 3 so over here let's give a name for our bot same thing we gave it in App Studio and we want to go ahead and paste our client ID over here for secret we go back into teams click on generate a new password and a password would be generated they only show this to you once so keep it safe however if you lose it you can always generate a new password so let's head into Wakado again paste the password in and click on save now that the profile has been saved we have a bunch of other stuff to do in step 4 so the first thing we want to do is to configure the messaging endpoint um, this is done in Teams uh, App Studio so what you want to do is copy this URL then hit back to Teams and paste it into the messaging endpoint field over here and we are done with this page so what we want to do next is head over to domains and permissions and here we want to whitelist the Workado platform so um, you can do this by putting a wildcard followed by the Workado platform domain once it's been added you should be able to see it over here and then we can go into test and distribute so over here on the right side if you have any outstanding issues in your app details or your bot capabilities it will show up over here as you can see we've got no issues so we can go ahead and click on download so download here will actually download your bot into your download folder and next step is we want to install it into teams to install the bot into teams we want to go into admins.teams.microsoft.com slash policies slash manage apps once on this page click on upload and then select the file that you just downloaded once your app has been installed head over to teams and click on apps over here you should see your bot under build for your organization if you don't sign out and then sign in again and then you should be able to see it what we want to do next is add the bot into a team so go ahead and click the bot click on the arrow and click on add to a team over here search for the team that you want to add the bot to and click on set up a bot nice so the bot has been added to the team you can check by going into manage team and you should be able to see your bot in the apps tab we're almost at the end guys the last thing we need to do is to configure redirect urls for authentication to do that we need to go into portal.azure.com and head over to app registrations over here you should see your bot in this list once on your bot page head over to authentication and then click on add a platform click on web and for the redirect uris we can actually go back into help to fetch the urls here click on configure and once the URIs are here or at least one of them we can add two more
once they're here, click on save. And we're done. After creating your enterprise bot, you may want to test it out. Over here, I have a very simple recipe. Um, it's a ping command followed by a pong response. So let's go ahead and create a new connection. Over here, I'm just going to call it approvals bot. And under custom OAuth profile, you should be able to select the profile that you created earlier. Over here, click on connect. Authenticate yourself. And over here, let's authorize the bot to be installed. Okay, so it looks all right. So let's click on save, exit, and let's start the recipe. So over here, I'm in the channel where I installed the bot earlier. So let's try things out. There we go. That's it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you have any questions or have any feedback, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, please like and subscribe if you want to find out more about bots in Microsoft Teams that can help automate your work. Or check out our other videos. I'll leave the link in the description below. See you guys next time.